So I love, love, love living on this campus and we are the opposite of a suitcase school. People want to stay here on weekends because there's so much stuff to do in and out of residence halls. As a first year student, you can live in 25 of the 27 residence halls. You can live in an all freshman hall, such as Williamson, Christensen, Alexander, or Lord. Or you can live in a mixed building that has upperclassmen living with you. We have four areas of residential halls around our campus. The Timbers, the Valley, the Hills, and Apartments. All the academics are in the center of our campus. All the residence halls make up a U around that. Each of those residential areas are very close to either a dining hall or a large academic building. Getting around campus is not hard at all. It's no more than a 10 minute walk to any of my classes. There's a Wildcat Transit that will stop around the outside of the academic core. With the UNH app, we can just look up when the buses are coming. It goes to all the surrounding cities, Rochester, Newington, Newmarket, Portsmouth. So housing offers a bunch of different types of rooms. We have singles, doubles, triples, quads, built up triples and suites. We also have apartments. All the dorms have kitchens, so you can always go there and cook your favorite meal with your friends. And then all of the dorms uh, have lounges too. Also you have cable in your room, you get free Wi-Fi, that's really good. You have laundry facilities, uh, bike storage too. Themed halls on campus is very liked by our students because they get to live in a place where they identify with. We have themed halls like the clubhouse where a lot of sports students like to go. The SEPS themed hall which is very close to Kingsbury. Hubbard is the honors dorm. There is Fairchild which is the international students. I mean there's tons of them, you can look online, it's listed on the housing website. So move-in day is a very exciting day. A lot of people come and volunteer to help out in a very organized and fun way. Having the blank canvas as a room is a great opportunity to make it what you want. A lot of students like to talk to their roommates ahead of time just to make a plan of how they want to format their room. So the housing website is a great thing to look at before moving in on campus. On this site you can see housing policies, also move-in dates and move-in out dates and spring breaks and winter breaks and stuff like that. Rooms are usually uh, rectangular, and Williams and Christensen they're a little different, they're like L-shaped. With the furniture, most beds can be lofted. Maybe you can put a futon underneath, or maybe put your desk underneath. I use bed risers to lift it up just a little bit. There's a whole list on the UNH housing website of what you can bring, like microwaves, refrigerators, stuff like that, and what you can't bring, like please don't bring hot plates or toasters. Over the past decade or so, UNH has consistently been ranked among the top safest college towns in the U.S. Our residence halls are locked 24 hours a day. Um, you always need your access ID to get into it. And also, your room has a lock, so a lot of the dorm use the combination locks, so you don't have to carry your key anywhere as long as you remember your codes. We also have the blue light system, which there's one almost at every point on campus if you're ever feeling unsafe. Every floor at UNH in any residence hall will have an RA. This RA is kind of responsible for building a cohesive community on the floor. We have a motto on campus that says Wildcats, look out for Wildcats. And on a campus of this size, it's really important to have that. So as an RA, my job is to instill that in my residence, in and out of my building. It's sort of our responsibility to make sure that you're safe in every situation, but we are also that person who is always going to be there for you no matter what. Living on campus is definitely an experience as a college student because this is where you meet a lot of your friends. You get to experience different halls throughout your four years here and different types of people. So dorm life is definitely a part of finding yourself as a person in college.